The story of the Discover Insulin started in this very room. On October 31st, 1920, Dr. Banting put to paper 25 words that would lead to the discovery of insulin. We even have his memoir that covers the night. It was a night of restless sleep. After the article and the lecture had been chasing each other in my mind for some time, they came together and gave me the idea. I got up, I wrote down, I couldn't stop thinking about it for the rest of the night. Those 25 words changed the world. 100 years later, we are still celebrating that legacy. People from around the world come through here, whether they're individuals living with diabetes, leading scientists coming to stand in the room to touch Dr. Banting's bed, perhaps seeking inspiration for themselves. The frame, you can see where the, the finish has been rubbed off. It makes for a very powerful message. And that's what makes this story real. They can experience and understand the importance of place. I think the diabetes story continues in London through the research that's happening at St. Joseph's Hospital, at Schulich, at Robarts, at University Hospital. Building upon this legacy, there's this real sense of optimism that we're closer now than we've ever been before. And to be able to hear those stories and share those stories really gives everybody a sense of hope. Our hospital and research partners are continuing with that legacy. It's our hope that one of these teams will be the one to find a cure for diabetes come here to Bandy House and extinguish the flame of hope with the words, the cure for diabetes has been found.